Hi, welcome to Irish Football Fan TV. Uh, as you may have heard by now, the big news is in. John Caulfield and Cork City have parted ways. This comes after um, the one-all draw at home to Finn Harps, where Cork City should have been taking the points. Um, it uh, comes to a very poor season for both John Caulfield and Cork. After 14 games, 3 wins, 4 draws and 7 losses, it's obviously been very disappointing compared to the last uh, couple of seasons. Um, me personally, I'm kind of disappointed with the with the second. I thought it might have been a bit too premature. Um, obviously John Caulfield, five and a half years at the club, um, and bringing us all being the most successful manager in the club's history. You know, it's disappointing, but again, it's a business. You know, it moves on. Uh, just a bit on John Caulfield, obviously one of the biggest names in Cork City's history. Um, 455 appearances for the club, record appearance holder, joint top scorer for the club at 129 goals along with Pat Morley. Uh, when he was appointed in at the end of 2013 for the 2014 season, he made a, a number of changes which have revolutionised the club. He brought back that Cork core into the squad. You know, he brought in the likes of um, Liam Kearney. He brought back Darren Murphy from Woking. Uh, Marco Sullivan from Avondale. You know, he brought back that that uh, Cork core. And that brought him up to second in the league where uh, they fought it out with Dundalk until the end of the season. Uh, that very exciting game at Oriel Park, uh, which finished... 2-0 to Dundalk, 2-1, Mark Sullivan scored later on. But obviously, moving on, uh, the 2015 season, um, there was a lot expected of Cork City finishing second prior to, um, in the prior season, um, bringing in Carl Shepard, Gavin Hoolan, even Liam Miller, which was a big uh, name to come back to Cork City, the first big name back since um, John Covey's hiring. Um Another uh, player that was brought back, which has since been, who is still at the club, is Alan Bennett. Alan Bennett, who was now club captain, uh, he was at in England for a few years and came back, and has since revolutionised the club. Um, along with uh, Alan Bennett, Kevin O'Connor from Waterford, who has since gone on to bigger things, and as of now back at Cork City, scored a great free kick Monday against Finn Harps. And Stephen Beattie, who's just been a legend at the club in the past four four seasons. Um, anyway, Cork City moved on. Um, they played a, a great uh, 2015 season, again finishing second to Dundalk and even getting to the FEI Cup final, where they lost an extra time to a Richie Towle goal. Uh, a very disappointing loss, but it wasn't finished for John Caulfield and Cork City. They eventually moved on. Um, moving into 2016, uh, another couple of signings were brought in. Greg Bulger, who is arguably one of the best centre mids in, in in League of Ireland at the time, he came in and slotted right in in that um, centre mid role, along with the likes of Kenny Brown and especially Sean Maguire, who is arguably one of the greatest players to ever play for Cork City. Um, he absolutely blew it up that se that uh, season and especially scoring the winner in the FAI Cup uh, the FAI Cup final in the 119th minute so very dramatic um, also bringing back uh, Garrod Morrissey from Cambridge who went over to Cambridge after the 2014 season and who in my opinion was arguably the, 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 the player we missed most in the 2015 season um, obviously John Caulfield brought us back into Europe and played uh, the likes of K.R. Reykjavik. I know it was a disappointing loss, but he brought Cork City back to the glory days. And then the next season, they went on a, 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 a European Cup run where we played uh, Linfield up north and we beat them thanks to a Sean McGuire penalty up at Windsor Park. And... Came down and we beat him at Turner's Cross. And then we moved into the second qualifying round where we beat BK Hacken. Again, a Sean Maguire penalty over in Sweden helped the team uh, with that advantage. And then to come back and Kevin O'Connor got the vital goal at Turner's Cross. And then we got the big one, the 
uh, we played Genk from Belgium, and we were unlucky. We we bowed out one nil uh, over in Belgium, and then to come back to turn us cross and almost play till the end. Moving on, um, in 2017, that was the best season arguably in Cork City's history, winning the league and cup double. Uh, what? Um, obviously in 2017, arguably Cork City's best ever season, um, winning the league and cup double. Uh, and of course, Sean Maguire and Kevin O'Connor both moving to Preston during that time. Um, these two players are bought uh, by John Caulfield and have been great servants to the club. And of course, Kevin O'Connor back here. Uh, moving into 2018, it was a bit disappointing. The recruitment uh, wasn't very good. Signing players at the likes of Barry McNamee, brought Danny Kane from Huddersfield. Um, Rock Gay and Cummins who's still in the squad, um and Toby Adebayo Rowling, Colum Horgan, all these players. And to date only two of which are still at the club, uh, Graham Cummins and Colum Horgan. Uh obviously a disappointing season, finishing second in the league, uh and finishing second in the FAI Cup. Uh and it's great that finishing runners up in both competitions is a great se- is a, a poor season. As John Caulfield has brought us to this um, era. Uh, moving into 2019, obviously it was a very poor start. And uh, as I said, uh, 13 points out of a possible 42, it just wasn't good enough. And moving forward, you know, there was a couple of candidates uh, linked already, the likes of Neil Friend from Longford, uh, even Stephen Henderson from Cove Ramblers was linked. Um, Obviously, I'm I'm disappointed at the the mutual agreement for the termination of his contract, but the club will move on, and I I'd like to thank John Caulfield for his service to the club, uh, and I do hope to see him around Turners Cross um over the next couple of years, uh, so I can personally thank him myself, um, so a big thank you to John Caulfield, um, you're a legend for Cork City. Uh, and moving on, uh, I wish him the best of luck for his future um, endeavours. Um, that's all from me. Thank you very much. Subscribe to Irish Football Fan TV.